Hello people, thank you for joining me again and we're doing another clearing today, another SRT group clearing, another SRT group clearing and we're going to do it on blocks to receiving love, blocks to receiving love. So just make sure that uh, the teams I'm working with, who am I working with right now? God team, uh, are you clear what we're working on? Yeah, so I'm using a slightly different pendulum than I normally would because um, I managed to destroy the other one after all these years, um, which is always interesting. Um, but here we go. We're going with this one now. So let's see what it's running at. I'm expecting it's sort of depending who's tuning in. Yeah, 0% positive, 100% negative, as you'd expect for a group clearing with a lot of people tuning in. Uh, and where's it sitting in terms of consciousness? Is that there? Creator consciousness. So we're just going to ask the God team that I'm working with to start clearing away all the programs and blocks, blocks to receiving love. So make sure uh, as you're tuning into this video that you're setting the intention to receive the healing. You're setting the intention for your highest good to receive the healing, the clearing, clearing away any blocks, any programming. These clearings typically take an average of around 15 minutes, maybe shorter, maybe a little bit longer, but roughly around 15 uh, minutes long for the group clearings. But individual clearings are always more thorough. Uh, we ask more questions. We go into more depth and we go through the energy bodies as well to see if any programs are running there. So it's always good to have um, clearings, personal clearings done. But this gives you an idea. And it still works, even if you're tuning in, whenever you're tuning in and it's not live, you're you're still getting the healing by setting the intention to receive the healing because at a quantum level, um, time operates in a very different way to how it does here on the earth. So the teams that I'm working with are clearing it to 100% positive and down to 0% negative, which is where we want everything. And they're clearing it from the creator consciousness level, which is here on the chart, down here is incarnational. And we want it to go up through all the soul expressions, all the way up to the Godhead and all the way up there to radiant love, uh, their new paradigm level. Uh, the actual, um, it actually goes about 120 something feet off the page now because uh, once upon a time, the Godhead was the highest place on here but because over the last 20 or so years we've been expanding and expanding and expanding with our knowledge and feeding it back to the great spirit so spirit is learning as well so it gets higher and higher there there are um, more and more refined vibrational levels according to the system anyway so it's still clearing away the blocks to receiving love so that's quite a lot that's doing i can feel it i can feel it clearing away so still spinning away, which is longer than the other ones. So there's obviously quite a lot of blocks. Whoever's tuning in for this one, there's a lot of blocks to receiving love. And of course, if we're running blocks to receiving love, then we're running blocks to receiving everything. So we're putting a, a great big block in the abundance stream because everything is love. We are all that is. So blocks to receiving that means blocks to receiving money, blocks to receiving romantic blocks to receiving opportunities blocks to receiving support and so on and so on okay it's starting to slow down now that's fine okay so where are we going first and it's the group srt clearing where are we going first and i want chart 6a which is master programs and discordant energy uh chart so okay inside left why have we got blocks going on there so we've got some abuse coming up there inside left abuse betrayal anything else no do they have past life roots yeah okay they probably have ancestral roots as well and normally we'd ask to investigate this uh on a personal level as well a little bit more but um and see if the teens wanted to do that but what we're going to do is we're going to clear those master programs and discordant energy away of abuse and betrayal there Across all time and space and dimension, across all levels of consciousness as well, all energy bodies. We want that cleared from whoever's watching this video. Clearing from past life and ancestral roots. Clearing inside and outside of time. 
sending it all to be transmuted into love. Certainly, um, certainly a lot clearing with this one. Okay, where are we going next? We want some more on chart six A by the look of things. So, more master programs, discordant energy running. Let's have a look. Outside left, powerless. Inside right, failure. Anything else? And um, do they have past life roots yet? Yeah. Do we need to? investigate. I do need to know levels of consciousness. No. So let's clear all powerlessness and failure. Now powerless uh, is, a, is one I've added myself to my charts. You'll find many SRT practitioners like me will add extra bits to the charts and I find it comes up again and again and again uh, anyway and it's always use, useful to see I think. Um, but I'm working with teams on the other side of life so your teams, whoever's tuning in, I'm working with your teams or my team's working with your team. And um, they have 200 plus charts, whereas I have anywhere between 32 and 35 or, or whatever, some, somewhere around there, I can't remember. And um, so their charts go into a lot more detail. So I didn't need to write powerless down all the other bits I've added because they'll be on the charts on the other side of life. But it's always I, I always find it's useful to see and my clients like to know as well. So... And it's one that comes up a lot. Okay, that's good. That's good. So where are we going next? So we're going to 6B, which is blocks to positive expression. So what are we blocking? What are we blocking? Let's have a look. Outside left, empowerment. That makes sense. Outside right. And again, that's one I've added. Empowerment. What have, What are we blocking here? Life. Okay, anything else? No, so let's clear those. Let's clear all those blocks to empowerment and life. If we're blocking love, we're blocking life. We're not engaging fully in life. And that often comes with failure energy as well. So we, we have this desire to escape life when we're running failure. Because we, we don't want to engage in life. So we look for ways to escape it. And that's often when addictions come in as well. People start getting addicted to things to escape from reality. Again, that's clearing quite a lot. I do have a look at some of the other group clearings that I'm doing. I'm doing quite a lot at the moment because it's helping people. Some of these uh, healings you'll feel uh, sometimes it's just a bit subtle, sometimes you can feel a bit more and other times you won't feel anything at all. And it doesn't mean to say it isn't working because I've, in my experience over uh, several years I've been doing this now with the SRT, um, it still clears. It clears the traffic in your mind. It really does. And you really notice it long term. Changes are uh, long term, definitely. Well, it's clearing a lot in this, this particular clearing. So... Um, it's obviously needed, these blocks to receiving love. Clearing away the blocks to empowerment, clearing away the blocks to life. So I don't know whether a lot of people are going to end up watching this particular video, but it's clearing a lot. So um, that's wonderful. I can really feel that. And I guess if anyone's running that abuse, mental, emotional, physical or sexual abuse, there are even spiritual abuse at some level, then, um, yeah, there will be feelings of powerlessness and blocks to receiving love there. That's it, it's slowing down right now. Good. My goodness me, it's, it's really going for it today. Okay, where are we going next in this group clearing? We're going to miscellaneous blocks, and this is at God level. God level, you'd assume, would be the absolute highest, but in, in this um, curses, that's interesting. Um, how many digits? Okay, let's just clear all curses at God level relating to blocks to receiving love, whether they are received curses across all time, space and dimension from this lifetime or any other lifetime or, or timeline inside and outside of time or whether they are curses that have given and there's karmic connection to them whether they are family curses ancestrally 
let's clear anything, any curses there that are held at this particular level, the God level in chart 10A. Clearing them away from all the energies there that are blocking love from coming in, from being received. You may even have cursed yourself in some lifetime or another, refusing to receive love ever again. It's surprisingly common. Come across that a lot with clients. So that's clearing away the curses. Quite a few. Really feel the energy lightening with this one. And the thing is, back in Roman times, if you're a believer in living other lifetimes, which I am, um, back in Roman times, it was very commonplace to throw curses about left, right and centre. And of course, you start doing that, you're always going to attract it back to you as well. So different cultures that we've lived in throughout time use these things. Which is a shame. Okay, right. Chart 12, which is spirit energy programming. This is at queen of life level, expression of the soul. 12 aspects of spirit as genetic coding. Loss of hearing God. Miasm of spirit, which is like faults in the spirit. We have pre-programming spirit by God. Potential dysfunction of spiritual consciousness by God, dysfunction of spirit by thought and a codependency of spirit on God. So quite a few on here. We're not going to investigate any of those. We're just going to ask because it's a group clearing. We're just going to ask to have them all cleared. I'm just going to ask the God team to clear all of those at Queen of Life level. I was just looking at my book there, you probably heard uh, 12 aspects of spirit as genetic code. I'll just read you what it says. These are 12 spiritual faculties that every soul is created with in the beginning. In the Old Testament, they are symbolized by the 12 tribes of Israel and in the New Testament by the 12 apostles. So there you go. OK, anything else? 16, full of consciousness. So we've got blocks to emotional expression there and blocks to mental expression and a rebellion to one. So let's just clear all of those. Let's just clear all of those up from whoever's watching this video. These are these are all happening at much higher levels of consciousness now. Things you won't even be aware of. And rebellion to one was set up as a potential for souls to incarnate. So when the soul ate of the forbidden tree... It was termed rebellion. That was in the fall of consciousness. So we're just going to clear that out. And the blocks that are running there at that level of uh, consciousness, the blocks to emotional expression and the blocks to mental expression. clearing away this chart full of consciousness chart 16 it it's um i'll just read you what it says in the book again it's better than me trying to find my way through explaining it while it's clearing this is a result of eating of the forbidden tree the potential for the fall is set up at one on chart three, that's uh, one level of consciousness on chart three. Since the soul is in the image and likeness of God, a fall was necessary to bring about the unique expression of the individual soul. Otherwise, we would simply be clones of God. That's right, we've all got such a unique and individual expression. And that's what the fall of consciousness is all about there. 
2021. We're going to 21 final items, this one universe. 13 bodies and 36 minds. Something else is saying as it's referring to charts on the other side of life. So let's clear the 13 bodies and 36 minds. It's always a good idea. So the 13 bodies, uh, we, we think actually last I heard it was 22 bodies that, that we're aware of, not just 13. But um, when you refer to the 13 bodies, um, I don't, again, once again, I'll just read what it says. It's easier than me trying to explain it. As a being, we consist of 13 bodies. Six of them comprise the spiritual nature or living soul. Seven make up the physical nature. Some of the bodies are a subconscious mind. Some are a conscious mind. And three have both conscious and subconscious minds. A subconscious mind is the computer or recording bank. And a conscious mind is the working mind, obviously. And in this uh, system, there's the etheric body. The first astral body, the mental body, the emotional body, the spiritual body, the living soul body, the I am body, the Christ body, the Holy Spirit body, the spirit body, the physical body, the second astral body, the third astral body. And that makes up the 13 bodies. Um, but there are another nine bodies which don't have names. Uh, last I heard as well. So, so I always refer to them as the nine without names. Still clearing away here with that. Right, okay, good, sorry, went very quiet then. Right, we're going to 27, learning is fun. These are spiritual blocks at, um, sorry, learning blocks at spirit level. So we've only forgotten source. There's a block to that. Experience is the process and the intention is growth. There's blocks to those and oneness with God's spirit is the goal. goal. So let's clear those learning blocks at spirit level in connection with this particular clearing. So again, just make sure that you're, Sitting comfortably, asking yourself to receive this clearing for your highest good. It's clearing a lot. It's definitely clearing a lot today in comparison to some of the other clearings. So I've done the group clearings. So there's obviously a lot that needs to be shifted there. There, that's good. Okay. And are we do we have anything more on the group side? No, is there anything else we need to do before mop up? No. Can we now go to mop up? Yeah, so let's just do a quick mop up. We're just doing a quick mop up there. Mop up is actually where the bulk of the clearing takes place by the teams on their side of life using their 200 plus charts. So what I would normally do, you see, is read them a long list and give them an affirmation to work with. Um, and an individual clearing, this is what we'd do. So we'd uh, be pretty uh, more thorough in individual clearings, ask more questions, be more thorough, do a little bit more investigation. So this is really clearing a surface level because uh, obviously we don't know, or I don't know who's who's tuning into this. So you're going to be getting a certain amount of clearing or healing. But if you have um, an individual individual clearings done uniquely for you then obviously it's going to go to deeper levels but there's quite a big mop up going on so so although I, I do a little bit of research uh, as I say the bulk of the clearing takes place right at the start and right at the end by the teams right okay that's done okay anything else that we need to clear for anyone in this group Okay, and what's it running at now? Blocks to receiving love, 100 positive, zero negative. And then, again, the pendulum feels so, <coughs> excuse me, so much lighter. And uh, are we on this page? No. Nope. So let's see where we're sitting in terms of consciousness now. 
and it's starting to turn here which is just above radiant love so that's wonderful so that's where we want it any questions um have a look at all my links down below and um if you have any questions email me via my website and i'll be delighted to help if you wish to purchase a package then if you'd like to go on my website under work with me the srt package is listed there and uh we can do some clearings together specifically for you and on a particular area that you wish and they are very effective especially long term so take care everybody another one tomorrow cheers